Hello YouTube, this is Anthony. I'm the writer and the colorist for the comic book, The Human Wrestler. And today I thought I'd do just a real quick tutorial about how I do my cell shading. What I have here is a Photoshop file that's just got two layers right now. I have my ink layer, which has the black line art by artist Barry Lincoln. And then below that I have my color flat layer which is just pretty much solid blocks of color that I build on with my shades and um, textures and highlights and things like that. Usually my next step in the process once I have my flats done is to do some real simple shell shading. And if you are familiar with animation Animation doesn't have a lot of shading in it. Um, you only have like just one shade, and that's called cell shading. And I like to do that as a initial step because it does give the drawing some really easy definition. So I create a new layer, and I can just call this shades. And I'm going to set the layer to multiply. In a little bit, I will show you what some of these different effects do. But multiply is what I use for my cell shades. And as with anything in Photoshop and comic coloring, this is, isn't the only way. And it's probably not the best way, but it's the way that I've been doing it. And it tends to work out for me. I'm going to pick an area that I want to do a shadow on so we're gonna do right underneath human's jaw here where Barry's already got his solid um, black ink. I just follow his what he's already laid down when I do my shadows and because his art style is very um, blocky and angular I don't use the lasso tool when I'm gonna make these areas um, selected the lasso gives a curve like this. What I'm going to do instead is use the polygonal lasso tool, which just gives me angles like this. And the process is I'm going to select an area and then I'm going to fill it with a gray color. Usually go 25, 25, 25, and a little bit of black in it. So to start I'm just going to, I'm going to follow his ink lines here as I drop in this shadow. Now one of the things about uh, the lasso tool is you don't have to complete the selection like I just did. You can instead double click and it will finish selecting the area to match the beginning so if I get to here and I just double click it's going to complete the selection so I go to my fill bucket I could click here or just hit G on my keyboard to bring it up and I drop in that color on the layer now if I have this set to normal which is the default you've just got a gray block here. If I said to multiply, what it's actually doing is it's adding the gray to the color underneath, so his skin. And it's going to give you different colors depending on what is the underlying color. So if I were to do the same gray here, we've actually got three different shades of gray. And I think that works out for doing shadows because where the shadow falls depending on what it falls on it's going to alter the color differently so that is that I'm going to go up here and I'm going to show you another way to do it right here under this bottle of baby oil Hey. so let's just say I've selected I want to drop a shadow on this pink couch, but let's say I have 
done this whole entire area. Now what happens is I'm going to need to eliminate the areas that's not the pink couch. There's a, a real easy way to do that, which I'm going to show you. It is uh, by using the magic wand tool. And I can go to my flats layer. And the magic wand tool selects blocks of color. But if I hold down the alt key, it's going to subtract. So I don't want this, the hand. So I'm going to click here. And what that has done has removed from my select area anything that was colored with that flesh tone. I'm going to do the same here for the gray bottle. And you see that just leaves this area here on the couch. But as I look at this, I, you know, I don't want my shadow up here. I think that looks kind of dumb. And it doesn't really follow this uh, heavy ink shadow that Barry's already put down. So I need to kind of uh, trim this up a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my polygon tool. And the polygon tool works the same way as the magic wand in that if I hold down the alt key, you see how it turns to a minus sign? That means I'm going to deselect wherever I draw. So I click here, and then I'm going to remove this area from my selection. And it's as easy as that. You don't have to hold down the alt key while you do it. You just have to change it, and then you do your first click, and it will automatically be locked in at uh, a subtraction. So maybe I'm just going to kind of fine tune this a little bit. Remove this area here. Now another way these tools work is that you can add to your selection layer. And to add, the shortcut is to use the shift key. So say I wanted to add just a little bit to the front here. So instead of using the Alt, which is Subtract, I use the Shift key, which adds to the selection. And I can do this, like this. And bam, it adds to it. Um, it works the same for all of these tools. So if you use the Lasso, I can just subtract the area, like so or I can add to the area, like so. So that's one way if you are doing an area and you just want to keep it to a certain color that you want to shade, that's an easy way to do it. So we use my fill bucket here and drop a shadow. A really crummy looking one, but I'll fix that. I'll do it really quickly here with you on the couch just to show you how it works again. I'm just going to want to color the couch. So I select my big area, change my wand tool, I go to my flats layer, and hit subtract, subtract the white panel, subtract the robe, subtract his flesh. I just have the couch. I go back to my shade layer, I turn on my fill bucket, and I drop some gray. You can mix up the gray as well um, if you want to do like darker shadows in some place than others. So you can feel free to experiment with that. So that was just a real quick tutorial on how to do some really, really basic cell shading. Uh, I can show you page uh, 20 to Human Wrestler and kind of just show you what that looks like for a finished page. Um, I think it's just a real quick way to give the drawing uh, some immediate definition. And it just adds, it's really easy to do and it adds quite a bit. So thanks for uh, following along. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel and like The Human Wrestler on Facebook and also Stash Publishing. Thanks everyone. Bye.